because people don't typically go out looking for help or looking for somebody to help them. Um, it's normally they hear something that we're saying and it strikes a chord or resonates some, somewhere within them. Hi, I'm Jason French and I'm the business doctor for Herefordshire and Worcestershire. I was at an event called CARS, which is a um, recycling event focused around the automotive industry. We were there running some free seminars for people to come and attend. That absolutely just anybody walking past would come and have a look at that, sit down, hear what we do. And very often that's how people find out who we are. A uh, executive, a um, operations manager from a company called Tecamet, which is an international recycling firm that recycles um, catalytic converters for vehicles, uh, was walking past. He didn't even see the whole of the presentation but um, felt that we might be able to help them because they've come, gone through a period of massive expansion, which happened very suddenly, taking them from an 8 million turnover to over a 50 million turnover in the space of about three years. And as a result, their department leads and so on are still very nascent and could use a little bit of help. So that's how we were engaged. We were engaged to talk to them about developing their uh, departmental leads rather than to look at the strategy of the whole business. Um, and that's what we have delivered in, in the past week. The problem they were facing is that um, they have a huge amount of material coming through to the factory. They have a huge buildup of material waiting to go through the process. And the fact that they haven't got the space to deal with that is uh, a constantly um, self fulfilling problem because it's, it continues to pile up. Um, to get that process moving faster, the problem lies with uh, creating a management team rather than a collection of individuals in charge of the department heads. A management team that know what the um, ultimate aim is, know how they want to go about uh, achieving that and supporting each other in that role and ultimately by being able to take responsibility and understand where they fit in the priorities of the company. And that's what we're working on delivering to them. So the solution that we came up with was a number of quick and easy wins about internal communication, meetings they could put into place, and also just the hierarchy of where people sat and their importance in the organization and how they could contribute to it. So those were quick and easy wins that could alleviate the immediate pressure. In the longer term, we're looking at um, working with them to really define job roles, looking at the structure, whether it's appropriate to the operation, and then looking at the process itself and whether some improvements can be made there to make things flow a little bit smoothly.